Welcome back. Welcome back to Legion's channel. Uh, for, for those who don't know me, my name's Legion, and this is a new channel for the new viewers and maybe the already existing subscribers. And today I invite a super, super special friend of mine. She's a dear friend. Uh, this guest, the guest name is called Cherie Wu. And Cherie is a writer and also a Chinese language service provider. She's the, uh, the bilingual author of a nonfiction book, Angelic Force, a Modern Medium's Communication with the Spirit World. She has worked for various companies in Silicon Valley, including Apple and Netflix. Cherie has practiced mindful uh, meditation, yoga, and tai chi for a long time. Without further ado, let's have a warm welcome to Cherie. Hi, Cherie. Hi, Legend and Legend and Legend's viewers. <laughs> <laughs> they will be your viewers in the future for a long time, I think. Um, Cherie and I met. Um, Quite a while ago. That was back in 2000, 2007, right, Cherie? Correct. Yes, that's very correct. She came to my blog uh, for because of uh, a post I had that was back in 2006. And uh, it's because of a possum, but that's another story. The reason um, Cherie is here today is for a very special mission. And I believe, I, I'm not sure uh, how open minded you are. But every day I'm open to receive, to receive the blessing from the universe. So I believe Cherie is a blessing to this channel at this Thank time. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So um, I invited her because she wrote this book called Angelic Force. I have been a reader of hers for quite a while, more than a decade maybe about 13 years since her blogging time. And up to now, I've been, um, you know, following her continuously because she, she just write beautiful language, all well written in both English and, 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 and Chinese. So um, I like to know, and maybe let the viewer know a little bit about your, the last book, The Angelic Force, the back, background story. Can you? Sure. Uh, it's a story about, the main story is about um, the modern medium's communication with the spirit world. The medium is Marilyn Raphael. So we collected the story of hers and also we interview her clients and also included our family sessions with her uh, during which my deceased father and my mother, deceased mother-in-law, uh, came back to ask Marilyn to pass the messages to our families. And that to me is very important. That proves to us life continues and love continues. Wow. That's something because only your family that you can, and, uh, having the resonate and you can feel their existence. Both my parents passed away too. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get a reading uh, from my, my parents through Maryland, but um, I was very curious. Remember, I was back in 2010, mm -hmm. and I also uh, got this curiosity. At the time, I was thinking a lot of things, so I want to ask Marilyn. So you kind of connect me uh, to Marilyn. And my grandmother, who just passed away and came back too. <laughs> and I knew at the time it was my grandma because I had a tears at that time. So, but I won't reveal anything right now because nobody knows my grandma other than my family <laughs> and friends. So that's not the point here. The point is, um, I understand you were, uh, you, you have been uh, also tried to write a, a different book, right? Is yes. that, what kind of genre is that? It's a fiction. It's a fiction of uh, short stories. And yeah, it's about um, the era of ours 
and I cross cut it、um, so that everybody can read about、uh, the story and、uh, feel related. Wow! So will that be English only, or、uh, both languages? Well, I actually started from、uh, Chinese, but I'm going to since I'm a bilingual writer, I'm going to、uh, translate it into English myself, and so that both English and Chinese writers can、uh, readers can read it. Wow! Excellent! Excellent! Actually.、Um, Sheree is such an excellent writer, and also she can do a lot of editing. Nothing can avoid from her eyes. Her eyes so sharp. My 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 book,、uh, Martin and His Piglet. Actually, at the time of writing,、um, I first write in traditional Chinese, and then、uh, I had it translated also by me. I'm the translator too, but、uh, because of there there are some words. In English, I want to get the real essence. So I also have a a lot of help from my husband, who is American, and、um, my two cousins, who、uh, also are very good in editing. They are bilingual too. And at the final stage, was、uh, done by my my good friend Sheree. So really, she's a really good friend. So whoever ever read my book, this is a person that we have to be th- really thankful. Well, it was my honor and delight to edit your work. It was beautiful. Thank you. Very Thank you. inspiring. Yes, that's my father's when he was fourteen and fifteen.、Um, so I'm thinking about a lot of things lately about writing, but、uh, I believe there's a lot of、uh, aspiring writer, right?、Mm-hmm. Writers like just、yeah. like you and me, and we like like we like to write. And I believe who is non-writer, everybody can write. No matter what, they always have a book in them. How how do you、uh, encourage them to、um, thinking about the publishing world? Do you have any pro and con, any、um, suggestion that you can give to them? Yes, actually,、uh, right now is different from where my first book、uh, <laughs> came out.、Uh, right now, I I believe a lot of people can go through the Amazon、uh, publishing route and.、Wow. Yes,、uh, so that's that actually saves your、uh, time and space because you don't have to print out so many copies.、Uh, in the past, you,、uh, you probably have to go through the inventory and things like that. But now I think it's easier for a lot of aspiring writers to go through the、uh, self-publishing without. Occupying too much space, you know the the actual space of your household. <laughs> If they do do you want to do self publishing, I believe when you publish your book, you are a publisher yourself, correct? Yes, I I did that for that book and sold the foreign rights to the、uh, Triumph Company in Taiwan for、That's、Chinese. That's interesting. Yeah, and the the uh, uh, just for the、uh, the. For Mandarin,、um, Mandarin speaking viewers, the the book's name、uh, in in、uh, Mandarin、uh, in Chinese will be 美美国林美大师玛丽莲 They can Google it and find it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a little promo for for <laughs> thank for you. <laughs> and and I want to also show the reader about this book, Angelic Force. It's so. Well written and and look at that, I I really look, oh I have I have I have the look at that autograph for th- from the three、uh, authors and also look at the、uh, the cover is a hard hard cover so it's it's really a good good book and how how do the reader they can go to where do, can they find your book、uh, Amazon. They can just、uh, go on to、um, Amazon, and if I believe if you are a Kindle Unlimited、uh, customer,、uh, you can get it free too, the、wow. Kindle version.、So、yeah, that's that's our gift uh, from uh, Victor and me. For those people who love to read, that will be a great gift because you don't have to pay since you pay for the unlimited、um, mm-hmm. monthly, right? Yeah. That's great, and、um, 
Oh, so I'd like to know uh, a little bit about the um, your meditation practice. Maybe because you've been practiced for a long time, I believe it's a daily basis as far as I'm concerned. I wonder if you can um, show at, in this recording, in this video, some basic thing because, you know, my husband, he's an um, old school New Jersey guy. It's so tough for me to convince him how to do even a, a breathing exercise. Maybe they will listen from you. What do you think? Do you think you can give us a guided meditation at this time? Sure. Uh, also, I want to add a little bit. Um, we, don't, we don't actually try to convince people, but mm -hmm. if you do it on a daily basis, people will see the difference. And that's why a lot of people came to me and asked me to do it. So I, I, I'm very thankful that you asked me about this because today I'm going to do this online so people could actually follow the the whole com uh, meditation practice and they can do it at their home at their ease. And they can actually pause and continue to follow if they want to come back to this one. Exactly. Even, right. That, that's a good thing about doing YouTube, right? So yes. you can pause. I always encourage people to subscribe. Even maybe this episode is not your thing, but you get the alert. So maybe because of Shuri, I can get more viewers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I think you're going to have more viewers. They were, they, people can know somebody who has practiced for a long time. Maybe they, you could be a intermediate or you're being an advanced level already. Oh, you are a master, but we can always learn something from somebody else. Right, Shuri? Right, yes. True. So, so sure, I let you get started. I'm your student today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm, that's my delight. Okay. Um, okay, let's start. Um, first of all, we find a quiet place and then settle in a comfortable position. You can sit up straight like Legend now, or you can lie down on your back, or you can even recline. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes wide open. Oh, wide stiffen, open. Wait, stiffen the muscle around your eyes like this. And then relax. Bite your teeth tightly and stiffen the muscle around your mouth like this. <laughs> now relax. Okay, good. Close your eyes. Rest your hands wherever you feel at ease. They could be in your lap or on your knees. Keep your chest soft. Now inhale deeply and feel the tickle of the nostrils, the airflow down the throat the expansion of the rib cage. Exhale slowly. Allow the diaphragm muscles to relax and move upwards. Let the breath be deep and even and lead you into a tranquil, serene state. You feel natural peaceful and calm. Now we're going to scan the body. Let's start from top of your head, the scalp, and the back of your head. Is it warm? Is it cold? Pay attention to the sensation. Notice any tingling throbbing, vibrations, or pressure. There might be strong sensations, or there might be nothing at all. Whatever you sense, 
or do not sense is perfectly all right. Now lower your attention to your forehead and your temples. Notice the temperature of the area you're focusing on. Continue to move your attention to the eyebrows, your eyes, your ears, your nose, cheeks, mouth, and jaw. Do they have any sensations? Are they tight or are they relaxed? Continue to redirect your awareness downwards to throat, neck, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms, the back of your hands, and your thumb, pointing fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, and little fingers. Notice any sensations that arise from the surface of your skin or deep within. Accept all observed sensations and allow yourself to be healed and renewed. Now, move your attention to the chest. Mentally, observe the rise and fall of each breath. Be aware that the lungs expand and contract. Direct your attention to top of your back. Feel the sensations. Now, pay attention to your meadow and lower back. Accept all feelings and relax. Move the focus to abdomen. There might be the feelings of being rejuvenated. Let that feeling wash through you. Now sense the pelvis. And now, scan your thighs. Breathe in and let go. Then move your awareness to the knees and down to the legs, ankles. the top of your feet, the bottom of the feet, and your toes. Sink in. Allow the body and mind to relax. Allow the path 
of healing or resolution to happen naturally. Accept the moment. Let's drop into the timeless dimension. Treat your breath as your talisman. Hang in with your breath effortlessly. When thoughts arise, you can acknowledge it. And today, you can make a choice not to cling to the thoughts. Welcome to the newly found insight should they come to you later and you decide to embrace it. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Take one more deep breath. Slowly breathe out. I'm going to count from one to five. At the number five, you will open your eyes. After you open your eyes, every fiber and every cell of your body will still feel refreshed and renewed, and you will be in full control of your body. One, think of some people who helped you in the past or at present, and thank them in your mind for all the help you received. Two, if there are people who are bringing you challenges right now, thank them mentally for enabling you to grow and strengthen. Three, acknowledge yourself for taking this time out of your life to do this self-care. Four, roll your shoulders, wiggle your fingers and toes. Five, open your eyes and rejoin your surroundings. Wow, <laughs> that was beautifully done, Cherie. And I like Thank it you. gone. I like it gone <laughs> because it's such a, sh a short period of time of meditation. But you feel so serene and calm, especially at this time. We are in a this so-called the coronavirus pandemic, and right. so many people so needed this. Right? They need this because they need to stay calm and center. There's a lot of people had anxiety, and like I said in my first video, they don't know what to do. But it's always good to keep yourself centered. It's especially very important because you, we want to, you don't want to be distracted by the world. We do need to watch news. We do need to receive a lot of information, but we have to keep calm first. And thank you for doing this for the viewers. Well, thank you. It was my delight. You know, uh, before um, we, we wrap up, um, I would like to ask you um, a question. It's very simple, but um, here it is. What does abundance mean to you? Well, the abundance to me is the resource that we have. And it's also a belief that we have enough. It's not that the money, it, it could be money. It could be your friends. It could be your the love from your family, but anything that makes you feel warm, uh, that will actually bring more abundance, more resource to our lives. So whenever we feel that we need something, we might as well give first and then receive, and then make this 
you know, the good circle uh, running and then the, the abundance will occur. Well said. Well said, Shuri. I really love it. For me, abundance is about the family, if the love, your surroundings, even the artwork, right? There's yes. a lot of abundance we can share. Even taking photograph is abundance to me, not necessary material things. Uh, for me, spiritual and material, if we can combine those two together, that will be more balanced, don't you think? Yeah, something that we love to share with and we can share with. So that's, I think that's something the, you know, the ad abundance needs. Yeah, and I, I believe that um, other than the, uh, the Amazon, the, the book that you can share with the viewers, and also, how do they contact you if they want to? Do you, do you, should I uh, write it down on the, the uh, description below? Uh, sure, you can write it down. It's uh, sheriwu.storyteller at gmail.com. Well, that's easy to remember. I will do that. And thank you so much again for coming here today. It's, it's really my honor and it's such a privilege to be able to invite you today and share your wisdom and practice with the viewers. Thank you, Legend. It was my honor and my pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, I would like to say to everybody, dare to dream. The time is now. If you like this video of Shuri and Legion, you do can subscribe and or share with your fa family or friends. Maybe they will like it, right? Okay, until then, we'll see you next time. Bye, Shuri. Thank you. Bye. Again. Bye, Legend. Bye. Bye, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.